Hello guys, welcome back to Liam's Seven Planet. I don't know if you remember, but did you know I have this project to re rewild my school? And I sold some of my old toys to buy these, so for the birds uh, that come every day in school to lay eggs and uh, and to be able to nest. Today on Liam's, Liam's Animal Planet, I'm going to show you how to make uh, a two pound nest, uh, nest box luxury for birds. I'm going to be totally honest here that the cost of living is affecting lots of people right now so it's very hard to get like really good looking nest boxes that aren't like 20 pounds or over so that's why we just bought some two pound ones which look very nice and we're going to try and make them luxury uh nest boxes we are in february and this is the time when blue tit sparrows look around to nest there's not enough natural nesting spaces so this is why the population of birds is going down especially in london so it's very important that we help these birds by providing them with nesting spaces so the first question we need to ask ourselves is what makes a lush and a luxury bird nest? Well it's a bird nest that doesn't get wet, damp or humid. It's a bird nest that provides uh, safety and keeps predators away. A place to stay warm in winter. So safety and shelter are vital for these birds. Let, so let's look, have a look at these two pound nest boxes. I'll show you my favourite one. My favourite one is this one because that has this little uh, like bird made out of wood. So the first thing we need to improve is safety. The first thing that isn't very good about these next boxes is the perch at the front. I'll just give you a closer look. See? This little white piece of wood. Now squirrels and crows might want to eat the babies or take the eggs once uh, because they can definitely go on here if we, when we put it on a tree. So we are going to get rid of the the perch so by just like, sewing it or pulling it out basically. So we're just getting the, the perches out with pliers and it's very simple. You just need to pull it left and right. And we're just going to fill the hole with uh, a bit of poly filler. One other thing is the bright colour star on this one isn't very bright but it's a bit bright we need to make sure these nest boxes are uh, as camouflaged as possible because cats crows other other so other animals really so we need to make sure it's cam as camouflaged uh as, like the same color as a tree basically because we're going to put it in a tree so i'm just going to show you how to use some dark pink color everybody should know how to use it to make to make sure it doesn't attract any predators really Baby birds could be very sick if you put strong paint on the inside. You could do it on the outside, but not on the inside. Because baby birds, baby birds are going to hatch up to the eggs and they could be very, very sick. But remember, don't spray chemicals inside the boxes. Uh, because it could make the birds very sick. Also, pesticides to prevent predators from attacking. Basically, we have these metal plates which goes for about one pound each so what you need to do is put it on like that and it, it will prevent but you have to um, make some holes to make it stable and it, and it will prevent predators coming in look, making the hole even bigger so we are going to screw uh, the metal plates in so all you really need to do is just Keep on screwing it once you have the plate on, and it should work. There we go. So I found this floor underlay in my house, and we're going to use that for coziness as well, and to keep all of the water away. So I found some flooring underlay, so I'm, I'm going to use this uh, for the flooring for the base. First, you need to put a little bit of a plastic bag in. Put the flooring underlay in, and it should fit perfectly if you did it correctly. It's good to stop the damp coming in. 
So you can use anything really uh, for coating the stack and soak, but soak the damp and the moist, and that will be the base of the inside. And the best. Uh, thing to do is to insulate it so it's not too warm in summer but not too cold in winter. We are going to tr try and insulate it so we're going to put some liner on the, on the top so it's waterproof. I just need to show you where we're going to put it. We're going to put it like here so it's waterproof and then on the inside in here we're going to put maybe some uh, foil inside. Kitchen foil to make it uh, not not too cold in the winter so i'm just uh, putting some glue on the roof so i'm going to put some bin liner on top to make it waterproof so guys i'm just gonna put it on so all the glue is covered to make it waterproof and we're just going to cut it around the sides okay so now what we put all of the plastic bag on to the roof so it will provide a little bit of uh, waterproof waterproof and so we just need to wait for them to dry and we're at the end uh we'll put some paint and varnish on it so it should be okay so when we put the plastic so we've put the plastic thing on now we're going to cover it with gaffer tape to make it even more waterproof we made this one and it looks absolutely amazing. For the coziness, we're just going to cut off a bit of like a duvet or something to make it really nice and warm. So maybe, so use what you have like cotton wool, anything in your house really, cotton wool, bits and bobs basically to kind of make it warm and, but don't overdo it, okay, because the birds will want to tell their house to look. They will maybe use branches, uh, hair, pet hair, moss. You just need to provide a little bit of extra help for them to have a good start. So basically, it's very important you put it above two meters high, the nest boxes, uh, boxes for them to nest inside, and it needs to be uh, facing north. Uh, because they really uh, not too much sunlight because then they'll get too hot inside. So really you should just wash, every year you should at least wash them just because it might get a bit dirty and uh, you should put some soapy water, just not any chemicals because that could be really harmful to the birds. Also you could just use some hot water really uh, and it's ready uh, for the next birds. So please remember that between the 13th and the 19th of February, it is National Bird Nest Week. And this is the time where we can all put bird nests out. Please, if you have any spare bird nest boxes, put them up in the wild because it will help the birds out a lot. If you want advice on how to put, your, put up your bird nest boxes, you should go to nestboxweek.com this is the website that helps talk about bird nest week every february also if you would like to support rspb they are a wonderful wonderful charity for animals so please do they also help our beautiful beautiful garden birds and beavers and any British wildlife really. I really want to say a thank you to CJ Wildlife for donating two nest boxes to my school. First of all, CJ Wildlife is a shop online where you can buy great quality nest boxes that provide warmth and uh, also all the conditions that uh, provide safety and uh, to make it look really nice as well. They're great quality nest boxes and you could get them for a lot cheaper than you normally get great quality nest boxes in shops. Did you know that in, in my school, in nursery, we put a nest box there and blue tits started nesting there and there were baby blue tits straight away when we put it down. Thank you so much CJ Wildlife.
It really also made the nursery kids happy. <laughs> In playtime, everybody was looking at it. I even saw them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!